Hello everyone, I am Danny from Huawei Data Storage and Intelligent Vision product line. Huawei Ocean Store Dorado series provides highly reliable and high performance all flash storage systems for core enterprise services, providing excellent data service experience. In this video, I will share some technical characteristics of NFS. NFS, or Network File System, is a file system protocol originally developed by Sun Microsystem and then widely applied to Unix operating systems such as Linux, FreeBSD, and Solaris. NFS allows users and programs to access files on a remote NAS storage in the same way as they access local files. In this way, you can flexibly expand the storage space on hosts and multiple devices can jointly manage file data. Versions of NFS include NFS v2, NFS v3, NFS v4, NFS v4.1, and NFS 4.2. NFS v2 was developed in 1989. It supports up to two gigabytes file sizes and operates over unstable UDP connections. Now, mainstream storage vendors, including Huawei, no longer support NFS v2. NFS v3 supports 64-bit files. On this basis, Ocean Store Dorado supports up to 256 terabytes file sizes. NFS v3 supports UDP and stateless TCP connections which ensures more stable connections and better performance. NFS v3 remains the most widely used version of NFS. NFS v4 supports ACL permissions similar to that of Windows for more refined permission management. It also supports data transfer encryption and Kerberos authentication, remarkably improving security. NFS v4.1 and NFS v4.2 display performance security and reliability improvements over NFS v4, with new features similar to those supported by Server Message Block, or SMB, such as trunking, multipathing, and sparse files. This table lists the interoperability between mainstream operating systems and the versions of NFS. Huawei Ocean Store Dorado will support NFS v3, NFS v4, and NFS v4.1 in 2021 and support later versions of NFS in the future. Next, let's examine how NFS implements user management and client authentication from host-based user authentication, share permission control, and file permission control. Let's start with user authentication. NFS v3 supports host-based local user authentication, which does not involve storage devices. After the authentication, hosts access the specified files using a UID or GID. A user management scheme can be configured on the storage to manage user information such as UIDs, GIDs, and user names. Ocean Store Dorado supports three user management modes, namely local user, NIS domain user, and LDAP domain user. If there are a large number of users, you are advised to use the LDAP domain controller to manage user information. Ocean Store Dorado also supports LDAP-based transfer encryption to ensure security. NFS v4 supports Kerberos authentication, which is more secure than host-based user authentication. It manages user information through the Key Distribution Center, or KDC. The authentication information and data from the host to the KDC and to the storage can be signed and encrypted. Here we have the client authentication. You can control a host's access permission to the NFS share by specifying an IP address, IP address segment, host name, or network group name. In the case of host name-based authentication, the system searches the IP address corresponding to the host name from DNS to LDAP and to NIS, and then determines whether the IP address is permitted to access the NFS share. In the case of network group-based authentication, the system searches the IP addresses corresponding to the network group from LDAP to NIS for authentication control. Last, we have file permission. NFS v3 implements UGO permission management. 
basic file permissions, such as read, write and execute permissions, can be set at three levels, namely owner, group and other user. Although NFS v3 also defines Parsec's ACL function, the function is incompatible with Windows and NFS v4 ACL and the permission control is less refined. Ocean Store Dorado supports NFS v4 ACL permission control, which is more refined and quite close to Windows ACL permission control. Therefore, NFS v3 ACL is a more secure and standard permission control function. To ensure permission security, you can easily set the NFS share to a read-only directory share or select the UID or GID authentication based general share. The super access of the root user is disabled by default, but you can also enable the privilege of the root user. Last, let's compare the performance differences between different versions of NFS to help you choose the right one. NFS v3 does not maintain persistent sessions between the host and storage. Instead, concurrent stateless short connections are established for I.O. interactions. As a result, NFS v3 supports concurrent access to multiple files and provides good access performance for small files. NFS v4 enhances the connection security and maintains persistent connections. NFS v4 only allows serial file processing in individual connections and therefore small file processing is inefficient and requests are queued. In terms of small file processing, our test results show that the performance of NFS v4 is about 30% of that of NFS v3. NFS v4.1 remarkably improves small file processing performance by allowing concurrent I.O. processing with persistent connections. In conclusion, NFS v4 improves over v3 in security but has poor small file processing performance. NFS v4.1 is recommended if you have stringent requirements for both NAS security and performance. NFS v3 is also a mainstream option if the NAS network is highly secure and security can be guaranteed using network isolation. That concludes my presentation and thank you for watching.